what you have here. So this is the checkerboard. I did all this by hand. You see? So, I'm gonna actually paint those the colors that needs to be in there. All right, oh, one more. All right, so, uh, I'm gonna use a router. I think I'm gonna use a router. I know I'm using a router to outline the outside completely. And then I'm going to use a smaller router tool to put the grooves in this all in the middle. And then I'll paint each one with the uh, proper color. And I'll fill in the grooves with uh, the Stone Cold Epoxy Mix. And it's probably gonna use gold to fill it in so that it'll actually stand out against the uh, black and red and then the, the entire rest of the table I might make it uh, a gray or maybe even green depending on what paint I have you know I'm not buying any paint I'm gonna use what I have and uh, well I was uh, attempting to start on this table which would have been a, a embedded uh, checkerboard as you can see I use the router here to uh, Cut these grooves. I'm gonna fill this in with uh, the stone core epoxy, and that's gonna be a black border. Then I was attempting to do these lines with a different router bit, and uh, was doing a practice one just to see how deep it would go. Like one eight, that's one eight router bit, and uh, well, it went too far in, and and I uh, tried to move it, and it got hot, and it broke. So shut me down for the rest of the day until I can get to the store and buy more router bits. Nice little toy I got here, and uh, of course I got a box of router bits, but the one that I need is no longer with me. So, that being said, I'm going to uh, shut it down for today. I'll be back okay. tomorrow. I'm about to uh, finish up on this table, at least try to get a little further along. I see I have, uh, this is going to be a checkerboard embedded into the table. I got my router here, I'm going to use to... Uh, score these lines okay and that's going to be filled with a gold inlay not real gold but a gold uh, epoxy mix safety glasses gotta have them a lot of dust gonna be flying so uh got the safety glasses and of course uh safety mask all right so so i can breathe i have to breathe in i already got allergies bad enough so uh what you have to do is you have to uh, clamp your guide board down, which I've already done. I've lined it up. So I got to do this for each line. So I'm going to line it up, and then I'll score this line, then I'll move it, then I'll score the next line, then I'll do it the other way. And uh, I'll come back when it's done. It's going to get kind of noisy, so uh, I'm not going to... Uh, well, I'll do one line just to show you how it's done, and then I'll come back and uh, when it's all done. I'll be right back. Keep it real. Okay, folks, I know you can't hardly hear me, but you're ready to get the party started. So, of course, you want to you line it up. And this is, uh, I'll talk to you about this in a minute. Folks, I got my grooves cut in. As you can see, I have the uh, the leveler here. It's because I didn't have the wood long enough to, to clamp down to hold this thing steady. But this did the trick. I just didn't squeeze it too hard because I didn't want to mess it up. Anyhow, done with the router. As you can see, the grooves are cut pretty, pretty good. You know you did them good when your lines, you can't see any of your lines anymore. And... You just take your uh, little shot vacuum, vacuum up all that, it's all done. Kind of cut down on some of the mess. All right, so now, I know my hair looks a mess. I had things all over it. Anyhow, who says you can't uh, do two things at once? I decided to mix a little uh, business with business or pleasure with pleasure. 
I'm gonna make my make a, I'm about to grill some chicken. Let me spin this around for you. Actually, I'm not just grilling chicken. I'm actually making a, a chicken tortilla soup. So I'm gonna grill this chicken so that it'll be nice and cooked and ready when I get ready to make this soup. Meanwhile, while I'm doing that, I have my uh, project drying here now that I've painted it. So when I take it inside, I'm going to uh, fill in these black cracks with black epoxy. And so I'm gonna fill that in, and then these little thin lines will be filled with gold, okay? So I gotta doctor this up and prep it so that when I put the black in, it doesn't bleed into there. So I'll be blocking all these little lanes and crevices off. Once that's done, then I'll do the gold. Once the gold is done, then I will sand it lightly, okay? Sand it lightly all the way around, just to get it smooth and even. And then I'll paint these red and black like a checkerboard. And then I'll sand it again, make sure everything's nice and smooth and even. Touch up the paint if necessary. And then put a coat of stone coat epoxy mixed on top of the whole thing. And then I'll let that dry and do it once again. Then I'll flip it over, paint the back in black and uh, put some legs on there. I didn't put legs on this one first like I did the last one because uh, this takes a lot more work than just making a plain table because I'm. this is an embedded, let me come around this way, maybe you can see a little better. An embedded checker or chess set, chess game. Chicken's so ready. To, I'm ready to cook it. Well, make the soup. I'm ready to uh, flood this uh, project with the black. Wow, that chicken uh, tortilla soup, it looks super similar. And uh, then of course I got the uh, soup simmer right there. Looking good. Oh, look at that. Okay, yeah. So chicken tortilla soup and uh, keeping it real with the DIY guy. All right, I'll get back. As you can see, I have uh, plugged the dam, so to speak. And uh, I'll be uh, putting in the uh, epoxy along these lines here on the outside border. And uh, once this is dry, I'll pull these out and I'll do the inside. I'm going to do it all by hand. Okay. I wish you could see this up close. And I wish I had a cameraman. If I did, then you could actually see the process they're doing here. I'll still come back and... I'm gonna wipe it clean with a with a towel. The excess, I'm not gonna leave that on it. Oh, see one of the floodgates opened. I'm not gonna let that happen either. Okay. Can't touch the floodgates once it. There we go. It's a little better. Okay. Now my problem is how am I gonna stop the phone? How to stop the recording when I'm done? I have to reach over there and do it. Huh? Snatch the glove off. And then edit. There we go. Now that's looking a little better. I'm going to have to show it to you when I'm done so you can actually see what's going on here. Yeah. And whatever there's excess on the, uh, on the, on the game part, game section, I'll just scrape it off. Yeah, take a razor blade and cut it while it's still, before it gets too hard. Uh, not meant to be there. There we go. All right, so now just want to spread that out so it'll be even. You know, I kind of envision this thing in my sleep while I'm driving. How I'm going to do it? What are the next steps? What are the which way would I go with it? You know, so it's kind of weird. And then when I come here and start working, I just put the vision into place. So I kind of see this, how it's going to look before it's even done. So if you can visualize it, you can do it. You know, nothing's too hard. So I visualize this and again, you know, you may get better, I may get better. Here we go. All right, as you can see, 
it's all full you see some overage but you know what I'm gonna clean all that up I'm gonna go over it with this uh, paper towel and get it off you know so once it's clean then I'll let it dry and then I'll hit it with sandpaper again you know light sand you know because it's gonna get uh, another coat anyway probably two coats once it's done this is just to, to define the border okay so once that's done you'll be the first to see it all right let me go so I can clean up and I'll be back tomorrow keep it real and there it is chicken and shrimp tortilla soup oh, yum yum I'm gonna do now today is I'm gonna fill in these uh, spaces for the board the uh, checkered chessboard with the uh, epoxy resin and I made it a little gold color you can see that and I used uh, this metallic gold dust from Stone Coat and I used the same paint color that I used uh, on the chairs because this is going to match the chairs from the uh, previous video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly slowly just pour it along the lines very evenly right and just let that fill in those spots okay and it should pop once it's done Oop. once it's done it's gonna pop pretty nice so I'm gonna set the phone down because that's what I'm using to record I have no cameraman and I'm gonna finish this up and show you what it looks like when I'm done keep it real This is a hard part, y'all. Keep it real DIY guy. I'm gonna keep it real. Individually, one after another. I'm getting closer to the finish, finish line here. Of course, it looks like that checkered flag, but it's a checkerboard, chessboard, embedded into the table. As you can see, there's my initial right there, which I'll be putting on all my tables that I make. You can have one, uh, just get at me. You have my email address, tajio51 at gmail.com. That's T-A-J-I-O at 51 at gmail.com. Okay, this will be done uh, shortly. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'll put the uh, one coat of the uh, epoxy. Yeah, don't worry about all this stuff you see here. That's not even going to come through. Of course, I'm going to wipe it down, maybe sand it a little bit before I even do that. A little here. You know, but that ML is going to stay rock player. Anyhow, y'all keep it real. I got to get some sleep. Peace. This is the board. I have sanded it and put some gold tones in it. As you can see. And as you see. Here. There you go. Now you can see. Anyhow. Okay. All the uh, the black and white checks were hand painted. It's ready to go. Got my... Uh, Squeegee, so I'm gonna squeegee across it. Right Sorry, right, folks, I kind of got started while you were away. <laughs> Actually, I was away, but I realized I had already poured it, so I had to press on. Anyhow, instead of just using the brush, I decided to use my hand to go all the way around, also hit the edges, and uh, just kind of hit every nook and cranny of this thing. So, maybe I can come up with another way where you can save money on those brushes because those brushes aren't cheap. $5 and some change. And if you're doing this a lot, you can actually put them in some acetone. But uh, if not, they're only good for one time, one use. Okay? So I'm going to. Get this all around the table edges. Do it by hand. You can't miss a spot at all when you do it like this. But you rub it in. Especially with this MDF because it's porous on the side unless you seal up the sides in some kind of way. Some paint, some kind of glue. Oh, here I am. I'm back. Still here. Just talking, but you can't see me, huh? So many interruptions. And now we torch. Oh, 
again. We're gonna hit this again for another coat, possibly two more coats, because uh, I did do it by hand. I can see some. A lot of bubbles, that's for sure. But uh, I just might want to stick a coat on it. So that's the beautiful thing about this. You can always change it. You can always add more. You can always change this. This is the look now. <laughs> Got a little initial there. It does have that look. There you go. Here's a tip. If you don't like what you're doing, or the design that you got, you can always change it, which is what I did. Uh, I put some more design in there because I didn't really like the, the pattern and the, the look that that had with just the spray paint. So I had to put some swirls in this thing, you know what I mean? So this thing has been done for like over an hour, two hours actually, and I still didn't like it. So what I'm doing is uh, I, I heated it up with the uh, heat gun and then uh, I'm actually using a brush now so uh, don't shortcut on your project because you want it to be you want it to look good you don't want to keep second guessing yourself so you know the hand thing is okay for maybe small projects but uh, this is a kind of a bigger project than that so uh, use a brush Use that brush and get the design pattern you want. Make yourself happy. Now I have to, I created more work for myself, but you know what? I'm gonna be happy when I'm finished with it because I'm gonna like the look that I have. And uh, that's all there is to it. It's, it's about what makes you happy. And if the design you have doesn't make you happy, come back and do over. Now I could have waited till the next day sand it and restart start it over but i decided you know what it was still a little sticky and wet enough to where i can actually uh come in and uh heat it up add some more to it you know kind of like a repair because that's what i'm pretty much doing i'm repairing the, the half-assed job that i did into a better job more design if you can see that i don't think you can see that let me tilt this a little bit so you can see the design I now have, as opposed to the design I had at first. See, that's the design now. It's a little bit better, see. It's got a little more to it. This is a little more plain Jane right here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that with the heat and then add some paint and uh, make it look a lot better. So I'll be back. Phone keeps ringing, so it's kind of rough when you're doing it with your phone. Now I'll come back and touch this up a lot better than it is but uh, for the main thing is get that design pattern that you want get that look that you want make it pop the way you want it to pop and be happy with your project all right i'm just keeping it real so i made more work for myself but i think i like this better maybe you will too like comment and subscribe meanwhile let's keep it real i gotta go because i gotta finish hey, listen folks this is the back of the table that I did. If you notice the purple tape, this is because of these. You see that's drip. All that's drip. It gets hard and it's hard to get off. So the best thing to do is to use a little tape, right? A little good masking, uh, not masking tape, but uh, I call it kidnap tape, but it's duct tape actually. Okay, so you take that duct tape. You take that duct tape and, and put it right there on the line on the edge and then it comes off very simple if you have an issue with it see how it's peeling off right there you take this and then you kind of like well i need two hands but i don't have a cameraman so you just kind of scrape it right there like this you see that yeah and then you peel it real slow you see how, how clean it's coming off right now i'm still gonna uh paint the uh the flip side, paint the side. I'm gonna paint it black with a nice, uh, with a nice paint, 
you know, seal it up real good. But this is nice and cool, see? There's no drips now. So I'll sand it, paint it a nice dark color. And, uh, and there it is. So that's what I'm gonna do. Meanwhile, we do have the, uh, the table that is complete, except for the, uh, so it's on the flip side. Yes, how nice is that? Okay, and that's what you see. That's it's been dry now for a day or so. So I have uh, painted the back side of it, installed the hardware as you see. Uh, I put a little sealer on the uh, black paint so that it, you know, people rub their hands on the bottom of it. I sanded it first so it'd be nice and smooth. And here's the legs. The legs are gonna go on like this. Just pop them in the pop them in the slot. Turn them. But and they'll go like so. Alright. Meanwhile, I got this chicken cooking while I'm doing this. And uh it marinated overnight. Put some lemon, uh, some white wine. Lemon juice, garlic, cilantro. Cooking nice and slow. Make sandwiches or whatever out of it. I'm gonna flip this over after I get it together to show you the finished product. Be right back. There you have it, folks. The inlaid checkerboard table and checkerboard chest that you can sit out here in the backyard or wherever you'd like to sit and play checkers or chess. I was going to throw the chairs away, decided to keep them. Once I got the design for the chairs, I went on and made the uh, table, used the same colors. And uh, what we have is a fantastic backyard table and conversation piece. Okay, I can make you one too. Hit me up on my uh, Gmail account, tajio51, T-A-J-I-O-5-1 at gmail.com. And you can get one too. That's it. Keep a real DIY guy. Oh yeah, by the way, the chicken is still kicking. All right, you guys take care. I wish Nina was around. She gives me love and she sings this.